just everything shut down. We had no idea it was coming. I had seen, um, we have friend, friends in Woodland Hills that had their powers out for three hours this afternoon. Oh so we were dreading that sort of situation. From Woodland Hills to Leah Haberman's house in Santa Monica, rolling blackouts pushed families into panic mode over the possibility of hours without AC or fans. As temps and electricity demands continue to rise hand in hand, SoCal Edison says it was forced to shut down power for about 70,000 customers tonight from 628 until 644 to protect the system from overloading. Meanwhile, walk out the shower so you're still wet. It's <laughs> no point of drying off because you're still wet <laughs> with the AC on. <laughs> After years of that kind of sweltering summer back east, transplants Nina Smith and family know the best way to beat the heat is to not fight it, which is why we found them tonight starting their hike as the sun was going down. They'd find some relief, but maybe not. UCLA climate scientist Daniel Swain has been warning this heat wave could be one of the biggest heat waves we've seen um, this decade. And in fact, he says we're going to see a lot of nights, especially across the inland areas where temperatures never drop to comfortable levels and that that adds additional stress on the human body additional stress on electrical grids and just makes it harder to cope with the heat um, when it doesn't cool down at night and if it's not getting cooler at night that means more people are using their air conditioners all night which could lead to more outages planned and unplanned in the days to come in north hills i'm lori perez kcal 9 news